And good morning, folks. This is your old pal, Uncle Al. Um, I've been busy. It's, let's see. I can't remember the date. Uh, sorry. Brain damage. Uh, today is uh, December 8th, uh, Thursday. And I had some questions and stuff. And uh, Hubble's cat. My friend in Canada did a really good video, and people were asking me the same question. After a nuclear war, okay, or radiation spill and stuff, a lot of people think, oh, we just put the dirt away and don't worry about it. Well, in Ukraine, they have an area called the Red Forest. That's around Chernobyl. <coughs> Excuse me. That's around Chernobyl in the Ukraine, okay, called the Red Forest, about 10 miles around the reactor. Now, a lot of people didn't understand that when it happened, a lot of trees died. But later on, a lot of trees absorbed, okay, heavy metals. Okay, five heavy metals that the trees absorbed. Okay, I have to always bring this up fallout, radiation, leakage, whatever, they don't go away. So we move ahead uh, 30 years later. The Russians and the Ukrainians are fighting. Russians captured Chernobyl. They follow the books. They did their, you know, if you make this filter, the water will be safe to drink. No, it didn't. 2,000 Russian soldiers end up in hospitals in Belarus and Russia getting treated for radiation treatment. Okay? They are dying now. Another bad thing is these heavy metals are picked up by plants. Okay? A lot of them ingested, breathe all this stuff, uranium, strontium, cesium, thorium, and uranium. Okay. But there hasn't been a leak since the 90s. Where is it coming from? Well, they dug trenches disturbing the soil. You know, trenches, ditches, and stuff. Two, they filtered the water. Not a smart idea. Three, they burned the wood from the trees. Oh, they're dead and we shouldn't be worried about it. Uh, before the trees completely die, they were soaking up enough heavy metals in the wood. Okay, which is, uh, Hubble's Cat did a whole video, two, I think two videos, go check out Hubble's Cat channel. We're old preppers, we know what we're doing. Okay, I'm not a prepper, I'm a survivalist. Still, I wouldn't burn wood after a nuclear war. It's like, yeah, let's make a campfire. No! Okay, the wood absorbs the radiation. Okay? Heavy metals. So the wood's radioactive. And when they built fires, yeah, I keep warm. It's cold in the Ukraine. Okay? What happened? You're breathing in radioactive smoke. You have radioactive wood ash. Not the biggest, smartest thing you do. Okay? They haven't met the uh, well, Ukrainians left, but they haven't, other than the skirmishes, they haven't got too much problems with Chernobyl. Why? Because you don't want to fight in a nuclear reactor site. You get shell and stuff, but you don't want to fight with ground troops. What happened? The troops got drunk, make fires, kicked back, ate the local mushrooms. Okay, folks, after a nuclear war and the mushrooms are growing fungi, what life of the world, common sense, but they're picking up all this, again, heavy metals. Okay, 
Ah, oh, we can grow things and smooth dirt around. No, you don't. Heavy metals are picked up by plants and trees. Okay, they picked up edible mushrooms. They cleaned them, washed them with the so-called clean water. And they got radiation poisoning. Okay, 2,000 Russian soldiers are getting treated in uh, Belarus and Russia. All right, like I said, don't bu burn radioactive wood or wood that over the years has been soaking up five heavy metals, radioactive heavy metals, strontium, radium, cesium, thorium. Okay, and you're ingesting this radioactive smoke. You're ingesting radioactive plant material. You're ingesting wood ash that is radioactive. Like I said, do your own research. Okay, because I keep telling people because I quit doing links and biographies and this and that. By the time it comes out, these people are dead. Okay, don't do... If it sounds too good and you're there... And some guy says, well, you know, you can drink radioactive water or you can burn wood. Don't worry. Okay, it's Chernobyl. I'd be worried. You're in the red forest. Ten miles around it. It's still hot. And yet they have people there. Okay, folks, it's Thursday, December 8th. I hope you have a nice day. Don't overreact. Okay. Be nice. Help out people. You know, be a nice person. Help out people. I'm going to take my walk. And I say hello to a few people down the street because people know me. Get to know your neighbors. How many of you know your neighbors in your neighborhood? You know, they know old Uncle Al and not some crazy YouTuber screaming about weird things. I have proof. I have this link and stuff. So when you have a get-together or you're trying to start something, you only have two people. When I get a get-together, I have a dozen people come by and they're all cheering and happy. They don't go to my church, but they're part of my neighborhood. So think about it. Can you Unlike uh, Twilight Zone, the shelter, everybody's there and they're, you know, angry and we got to get into a bomb shelter. They were at a party. Okay? A lot of people don't think ahead and they don't include their friends and neighbors. Okay? A lot of my neighbors know what I'm talking about. A lot of neighbors know they had a question or... I have to unclog one of their toilets to get kids jab something in, jam something in there. I'm over there and helping out. Okay? It saves money. You help friends, and friends trust you. Neighbors to friends and stuff. I feel sad when they had to leave. Okay? The kids grow up. They want to move. I threw them a retirement party. They move. Another family comes in, and I have more friends. But they trust Uncle Al. Do they trust you? And I'll catch you later. You think about that. Check out Hubble's Cat's video on burning radioactive wood and understand what's going on. I'll catch you later, folks. Bye now.